In the Yoga Sutras, Patanjali names eight limbs, Asht Anga. And the last of these is Samadhi. When people think about Samadhi, they often think of otherworldliness, a, a place, a transformation. But I most often use the phrase, the loss of an eye-centered focus. We look out at the world, the world around us, and yet we see the world in relation to ourselves, to an eye. You and I look out this window and we watch across the street, we watch a truck back into a car. And yet, as the vehicle backs, both of us slightly shocked, but one of us shouts out. The one that shouts out, it's their car. The other person watching, shocked, and yet they experience the event differently. This example of seeing something, experiencing the world in relation to oneself, we can see difficult moments in other people's lives, and yet we have a, a level of detachment that is impossible for us in our own lives. And it's not just detachment, it colors our view. I stand, I look at the world, I see it in terms of threat and opportunity. What may or may not happen and I pull back, or things that are possible. And this eye-centeredness is more than just preference, things I like and things I don't like. It actually colors perception. We fail to see things clearly when the sense of I dominates. And in recent weeks, we've looked at this term samyana. The last three limbs Dharana, Dhyana, and Samadhi. Ainga says these three woven together as a single thread form Samyama. Concentration upon an object, contemplation upon the object, and sometimes it's said merging with the object. That when we conduct a Samyama, it's said that you come to know the essence of things, not just their projection on the mind, not just our ideas, our thoughts, our fears or our desires. Is it possible to lose, or I most often I use the word dissolve eye-centeredness? Can you experience things as they are, not just as we hope or fear them to be? The term samadhi is not so much another worldliness, but is the way we see the world and experience the world 